For 60 years, the Goethe Institute has been promoting German language and culture around the world. This week, our summer series, Globe Trotting with Goethe, takes us to a gallery in New York's most creative quarter. It's showtime for Toby Meyer and Ludlow 38. The curator's mission? To establish the Goethe Institute's gallery in the heart of Manhattan's Lower East Side. A German space for international art. It's just 55 square meters in size. Right now, it's full of exhibits from China. An exhibition on the new Chinese working class. The back part of the gallery houses an installation, a recreation of a migrant worker's living space. The pieces come from a suburb of Beijing. But the topic is also relevant on the Lower East Side. Of course, we're right in the middle of Chinatown with a large Chinese immigrant population. And that's what we want to address directly in our exhibition project. And there are a lot of people here who might be interested. That's because the Lower East Side only became part of the art scene recently. More than anything, it's an immigrant neighborhood. Toby Meyer's immediate neighbors are a bakery and a bicycle shop, both Chinese-run. He gets along well with them. I think they've come to understand what we do, that we present art exhibitions. They look in sometimes. Most people look into the windows, and sometimes they also come into the gallery. I think it's important to have a friendly relationship with your neighbors. And I think we've done that very well. That's also true of Meyer's contact to the art scene. Brazilian artist Karin Schneider was one of the first to discover this neighborhood. Her greatest concern is that it will become gentrified and commercialized, like Soho and Chelsea. In 2005, 2006, we had like very few spaces that were producing, uh, uh, developing their work in the other side, and now we have, I think, around 50 galleries around. It grew a lot, and now it became like a... Uh, uh, neighborhood in which people really come to see art. Here, the venerable Goethe Institute shows it can still be young at heart. Money and the latest trends play little part in the exhibitions in Ludlow 38. The organizers want contemporary art to play a larger part in the gallery, in as many variations as possible. Basically, this decision to go downtown is also a bit of a departure from cultural activities that were very much geared towards highbrow presentations of national culture in New York. We're trying to present ourselves as a more open, international cultural institution. That succeeded with the current program, Suddenly, Chinese media have become interested in the gallery. Toby Meyer has caught the spirit of the area, awakening curiosity while remaining nonconformist in his approach. On the Lower East Side, mainstream is frowned upon. Subculture is sexy. That provides fertile soil for galleries. They're springing up like weeds. The challenge for the Goethe Institute and Toby Meyer is to make Ludlow 38 stand out from the crowd. The best publicity is word of mouth. And I think that over the years, we've developed a unique selling point. Because we show artists who aren't often seen in the commercial galleries or museums, but who have had outstanding exhibitions at other venues. On the Lower East Side, there's inspiration on every corner. For instance, at a performance in a neighboring gallery, Brennan and Griffin. This is where artists, curators, and critics meet. New York never sleeps, and that's especially true of the art scene. Toby Meyer isn't here just to watch the show. Networking is an important part of his job. The first commandment in the microcosm of the Lower East Side is always remain a topic of discussion. 
In Manhattan as a whole, some 1,500 art galleries vie for attention. There's no exact figure. The selection is constantly growing and changing. Just like Toby Meyer. He's been on the road for Ludlow 38 for three years. A long time for him, but the city and the conditions couldn't be better. There's no better job in New York than being a curator. We have an incredible amount of freedom at Ludlow 38. We have fantastic support from the Goethe Institute. We're free to develop and don't have to satisfy any commercial interests, and that alone is unique. Toby Meyer's time in New York will come to a close at the end of the year. He's leaving the city for the Biennale in Sao Paulo. The curtain is falling, but only for him. The Goethe Institute and Ludlow 38 will remain in the heart of the Lower East Side.